So this is week one, day two. Week, sorry, week three, day two. And I'm trying a new flower. If you don't have any flowers, you could look on your phone for a picture or your computer for a picture and um, either print it out in black and white in the beginning or um, just print it if you have a color printer. Or um, if you don't have any flowers, you can't find any pictures, um, try to find something that's from nature that you can look really, really, really close up at. So again, who remembers like when we're making things look real, how do we do it so it's not gonna look like cartoon? Remember, you start with um, by looking at the flower really up close and always looking more at the flower than you are at your paper. So I'm gonna start with the middle again of my flower and this petal is gonna go way out like I'm a, a hummingbird coming close, close, close up. I'm gonna draw one side of my petal and then there's a purple petal that kind of comes in front of this one. I wish you were sitting right next to me. And another purple petal that comes on the other side. This flower is called an orchid. And then there's one big petal that goes all the way across the bottom. They're also purple. And then from the bottom, there's like these two points that are overlapping, almost like bullhorns. Right there. And then this side of the petal comes way out and comes all the way up to the top where it's kind of pointy. And this petal on the other side comes out and in. It comes as tall as that one is. You can use your hand to also curve things and sketch it. Sketch it like you keep going over it, but not dark. And then come down to the next purple part. Come back up. I made this one too big. So I gotta make them symmetrical. Then there's almost like a triangle part here. This one comes way up to the tippy top. And comes behind this one. And way over to this. And this one comes way over. this part. And behind it there is a stem that comes up. And it joins another stem that goes off the page. And here's another petal, but you just have to do one flower. I don't think I'll do that part. So my pet, my flower took up most of the page at the top. 
but not as much of the page at the bottom. So the next time, after you do two drawings, picking up the whole page of your flowers, then next week we'll start to um, color them and use watercolors. If you don't have watercolors, they have them at HEB. Um, they're just Crayola watercolors. And, um, but I think you got watercolors in your school packet.